Hey everybody. I just returned from Elkhorn, Wisconsin, which is in southern Wisconsin. Every month in the summer they have an antique flea market. They don't have a ton of tools, but uh, a few vendors had a number of different older tools. And some of them had some really high-end stuff. And um, So I'm going to show you what I got. And just to let you know up front, everything you see on the table, I paid $320 for everything. So at the end of the video, you let me know if it's too much or if it's a good deal. Uh, this piece I've, I bought for 20, it's marked 25, I gave him 20. It's a Stanley 36, I believe this is an 18 inch level. And what's nice is that all the bulbs are good and they don't have liquid in them yet, so um, probably clean them nice and just the fact that it's all still together is nice. Uh, this was marked 35, I paid 30. Um, it's probably going to be a mess in here. Oh, held together pretty good. It looked to be pretty much all there. It's all Craftsman USA. Looks like there might be a couple couple extra pieces in here. Um, like the swivels and the extension here. But uh, pretty nice pickup for $30. Um, these miscellaneous hand tools here were a dollar each. The reason why I bought this one is because it still had the scribe in it, which is nice. Uh, seems like about 90% of the ones I find don't have the scribe anymore. And then I got, uh, I believe they call them, uh, what is it, Sears Best, uh, with the handles. But I, I like to collect this particular handle. It's a little harder to find. And uh, these will clean up real easy. They probably look really nice when they're done. So these were a dollar each. We got a little quarter inch drive spinner. And we got this guy. I forget forgetting exactly what that's for with the the threaded end on it. Um, it's just not hitting me. I, I know what it's for, but I just can't think of it right now. Um, got a few line, lineman's players. Um can't read the name on this one. I think it has one. Let me let me see if I can put you down for a second. So it does have a logo. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's in this lower right hand lower corner here. It's an anchor with an S and an H. I think from what I can find online that's for Smith and Hemingway. But I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll have to do a little more research on it. Uh, never heard of that brand. Definitely never had one of their tools. This is a, I believe, a 12 inch draw knife. It's made by Glass Manufacturing. Um, paid $8, $8 on this. I wasn't sure um, who it was made by when I bought it. I could tell it had a name on it, but the rust was. Uh, was over it a little bit, but uh, I scrubbed off the corner and it said glass manufacturing on it. This is a uh, Utica 1950 line, Lyman Players. Um, paid a dollar for this as well. It had a nice, uh, nice cutting edge on it yet, and so that'll clean up easy and it'll be probably good for another 75 years. Um, this box here, the whole box, I paid $250 for, uh, for the box. So, I got a 1921 Snap-on flip socket. I got this uh, ratcheting extension, 67B, half-inch drive ratcheting extension. I, I bought these, I, I've never seen them before. They're made by Imperial Eastman. I believe they call them quick tight. So they, they open up to go over a fastener. And then of course they're ratcheting when you they're kind of like a almost like a crow's foot, I guess. Or crow foot. Um I, I doubt this is all that came in the sizes since it's 
it's uh, missing, skips a few, but uh, from what I could find, they're they're not cheap. <laughs> I bought two of these uh, Snap-on Midget, I think they're M70s. Um, at first, I thought they were sandblasted, but I'm just hardly see seeing like any sort of wear, any sort of dents or dings or scratches. And I'm almost wondering if they could be new old stock. This uh, gentleman just had loads of tools. I probably could have spent thousands on his table, but I, I was with my friend and we had to keep walking because there was over 500 vendors there. I do see it's stamped with an E here now. That could very well be a previous owner, but the E could also be for emergency when the, they were making tools during the war. And the fact that they don't have any finish on them um, may also be another sign of that. So, not 100% sure, but uh, they're in great shape. And I got this little uh, TM70B. <laughs> he had it in his pocket once upon a time, I guess. He must have paid $3 for it. Um, at least it looks like that's, that's what it's marked. But, uh, pretty good condition. These all work fine. They all work well. I got a couple, uh, what are these, F, F730As, um, I think the other one's just an F730, but very nice condition, very little wear, and here's the, just the 730, I believe, yeah, this one's got a couple dingers in it, but not too bad, and then, uh, we got an F731, uh, flux head, 3A drive, long handle, and then uh, last is the, uh, what is this, the BK, or the, let's see here, oh I can't even, can't even read it, <laughs> I just had one of these guys, uh, but it's the 3 Ace stubby ratchet, and really nice shape, there's, I don't know, there's some dirt or something over the part number, but, uh, Oh, it's the, the F710K. So, yeah, so um, everything was was uh, 320. And uh, if you were to buy these ratchets right here, if you went to eBay and bought them all, um, there's, let's see, there's seven of them, you would easily pay $350 for those ratchets. So, I think overall, good deal. But you let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one.